What's going on everybody? So today I'm just going to do a quick video on how I box up coral for a shipment. Um, somebody, this person that I'm, this order that I'm about to be boxing, they asked me if I could do like a short clip for them. So I just figured it'd be maybe a good idea to just show how I do it. Um, I'm sure that there, you know, there's many different ways and techniques or whatever you want to say, you know, on how to ship it. But um, I just figured I'd do a quick video and show you how I do it. Let's get busy. Okay, so when I ship stuff, or even when people come here to buy stuff, um, I use specimen containers. Just quick and easy. Um, they're hard, as I drop one. Um, so like, it's kind of easier than, I like it better than bags just because it keeps it kind of contained, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, bags are kind of, you know, squishy. The bags could pop. Uh, this way you know that it's not going to leak, the bag's not going to pop, and the coral should arrive there safely. So I'm going to pack up these corals real quick into the specimen containers, and then we'll get them in a box. All right, so I got everything in there. Um, she only ordered three corals, but I'm giving her two freebies, uh, just hooking her up. It's a friend of mine, um, and then a t-shirt. So I got my heat pack there, the fill-in paper, if that's what you want to call it, and then, of course, sticker, business cards, and you can't forget the sweetest fish. So let me pack this all together and we'll get it taped up. All right, we got her all packed up here. Just wanted to show you real quick. I always tape the heat pack to the top of the lid. Um, you don't really have to, you could just throw it in. So now we'll tape her up and create a label. All right, she's taped up, labels on. I'm obviously holding my thumb over the person's address and name and info, but she's all ready to go. As always, appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and uh, you have a good day.